Good morning, my community. Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. Today, I'm going to be unboxing a water distiller. Now, why do we want a water distiller? Uh, distilled water is sterilized water. I can use it for my neti pot. You can use it in your iron, and I have serious allergies and sinus problems. Um, and so it's, it's better for me to use distilled water in our neti pot. But uh, you can also use it to water your plants. You can use it um, in your coffee. So a lot of misconceptions about distilled water is you can't drink it. You can drink it. It is just sterilized water, sterilized distilled water. And it's uh, taking out the impurities and it is also taking out the minerals. And where the minerals come into play, that is for your iron, for your coffee maker. If when you have to clean your coffee maker often, uh, because of the calcium buildup or other mineral buildup. So you distilled water would be really good for that. It's also good if we start having a problem with our water and we go on any boil notices or anything like that um, to have a water distiller around. And you can get them, they're quite competitive and, and, uh, and efficient and I would say economical. So we're gonna set up this water distiller and we're gonna start some today. And uh, we'll talk a little bit more about distilled water and what maybe I do to put some of the minerals back in if I decide uh, to start drinking this distilled water. So we got our distiller from Viver. Viver is one of our favorite go-to suppliers. They have a little bit of everything. And uh, so if you are looking for something that is kind of off the wall or something for your garden or something for your kitchen, be sure and check them out um, because they have a lot of great items um, at very, very competitive and economical prices. There are some assembly required, but guys, it's pretty simple, not too concerned about it, but look, it comes with a very large pitcher, glass pitcher, I might say. So we're gonna go ahead and test our water before we do the distilling. And this is 9.1 pH, which is pretty high. So it has a very nice stainless steel tank, guys, and it has the settings and the times, um, which I'll show you here in just a second when I get this going. So we've gone ahead and put our water in. This is a 300 milliliter uh, pitcher. So let's get this plugged in. So in the back here, it has a plug-in that goes into the wall, and then this plug-in is for this top. Let's get it set up. The lid here has a very nice silicone gasket, and this is where we just put the charcoal filter into the steam spigot that's gonna be pumping this into our pitcher. Plugged in very nicely. It's secure. Set right on top, guys. So let's turn this thing on. It comes with a really nice lid here. So we're gonna slide this pitcher under. And I like this glass uh, pot because it has a rubber bottom that doesn't, uh, that'll protect it from breaking or slamming it on the counter. Yeah, like that. Okay, so I have it turned on. It went to automatically three hours and 30 minutes. Here's the temperature setting. So we're gonna let this run, guys. It's probably gonna take about three or four hours, and then we're gonna retest our water. So while that's running, it does come with some detergent that we can go ahead and clean our pots out with. And it, uh, it tells you exactly how to use this in the stainless steel container. So I know a lot of people are on CPAP machines, and sometimes I wonder if I need one myself. But anyway, this distilled water is good for your CPAP machine. Some people use it in their baby food formula. Um, sterilization of maybe um, some medical tools if you're using any kind of medical tools at home. So we're really excited to see how this turns out and to see what, uh, what this removes. It's, like I said, it's probably gonna take several hours, about three and a half hours, but we'll check in intermittently and let you know how things are going. 
So if I wanted to drink this, which I probably will, I can go ahead and add some of my minerals back in. I can put some potassium. I also have some magnesium, some iodine, selenium, zinc. I can put these all in um, a glass of water and go ahead and consume it and put some of my mineral content back in without the fluoride and the chlorine. So right at 30 minutes in, guys, it started to um, go into its distilling process. Pretty exciting. Okay, so we brought it down to 7.0, which, what does that mean, Greg? It's neutral distilled water. Neutral distilled water, great. So it turned itself off, which I like. I could start this at night if I needed to and go ahead and have it run all night, depending on my need. So yeah. So let me know what you guys think about distilled water and let me know what you use it for in the comments below. I'm curious to know. So I know again that there's CPAPs and neti pots and your irons, anything that you wanna get the mineral content and the chlorine maybe and the fluoride out of your water, baby food. But yeah, I think we're gonna put this to use. I don't think this is gonna be anything that's gonna go back um, on the shelf or anything. This will be something we'll use regularly to make sure that we have a good source of distilled water. It'll also be handy in the event that there's any kind of a water emergency or that water well back there because that uh, water well has a lot of iron um, in the water back there. So we can use that to purify that water as well. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna put the link below and I think there's a, a coupon code too that I'm gonna put in there. And so if you guys are interested, be sure and go check it out. And again, guys, Viver has everything. Um, yeah, we like Viver. We get all kinds of things from them. And when we're looking for something special, we go to Viver to see what they've got um, because of their pricing and because of their selection. So take care, God bless. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe guys. We got lots more content coming up. Uh, it's hot out there. See you soon, love you.